Okay, so thanks Lucky for his sharing. So uh, in our next section, we have Carl from, from uh, Jacko. So uh, he is going to share about the API ecosystem and banking open, uh, the open banking phase three and four. So uh, in these two days, we have a lot of uh, people focus on three and four. So um, Carl, we, we would like to see your thoughts as well. So uh, how are you? Sure, sure. Great, yeah. so happy you can see how exciting I am now. <laughs> okay, so uh, your voice is loud and clear. So we are see, trying to see your, your slide. Okay, I think you need okay. to sweep, uh, flip your slide. You are loud on the streaming. Yep, you are on the PowerPoint. Yeah. Can you try to, yep, okay, it's all good. So um, I will pass the time to you. Thanks, Carl. Okay, thank you, Patrick. Thank you everyone for joining my section, for watching my presentation. Now I can only see the full screen. I can see uh, Patrick or see any others. Okay. Let, let me start. Okay, Jacko. I, I'm Carl from Jacko. And I think uh, most people uh, in Hong Kong at least uh, know about Jacko because of the ATM. Because we are the uh, largest ATM network in Hong Kong. And for some foreign friends, they may also know Jacko because they may, uh, when they come to Hong Kong, they also see our, our ATM machine. Also, maybe you can see our logo on the uh, credit card or debit card back. But today, I'm not going to introduce our, uh, our ATM network to all of you. But today, I would like to share with you our APIX, our API exchange platform. Okay. Okay. Jekyll Apex. What is Jekyll Apex? Okay. Um, in 2018, around uh, mid, uh, July, should be July, the Hong Kong MA published the uh, open API framework. And the, they give uh, uh, the bank a quite tight launch uh, uh launch date deadline, which is around just six months to go live. And at that moment, you know, uh, in Hong Kong, some banks are before the um, framework announcement, some, some of the banks are uh, which more advanced, they already have got their open API, but most of them are not yet ready. So at that moment, what did Jekyll do? We just do uh, repeat what we have done uh, on ATM, but this time it's not ATM. We form, uh, we establish a platform, a API platform, which support our member banks support them to comply the uh, new regulations to help them to host the open API on our platform and connect with the TSP. TSP mean for, I mean, every one of you knows what TSP is. So I'm not going to say much about this. So this is some uh, basic background about uh, how, why we have got a Jekyll Apex now. Okay. Next page. Okay. Let's see. Then how does J uh, Apex work? Now you can see a, a diagram uh, for the API platform. Always we have got both sides. One side is the API providers. One side is the API consumers. You can see at the top section, we can see the open uh, banking open API part. And uh, we have got our, as I mentioned before, we have got our member banks who uh, host the API on our platform. Until now, we have already launched the phase one and phase two. Uh, for the uh, open API framework, which means the uh, product information and also the custom acquisition. And how we support banks to do this part is, we support banks, you can see on the left hand side, we've got different parties, we can see different icons, for example, you can see retail, FMB, some investment, some fintech like icons, uh, those all are our TSP. We help the banks to ac acquire their TSP and they not only ac acquire the TSP, we also help them to uh, assess the TSP, which I will describe more in the um, coming sections. So at the end, we uh, as I said, we launched the phase one and two and some use cases, uh, I think it's quite popular now, at least one for two years, something like the foreign exchange comp price comparison, some credit card information comparison, loan interest rate, mortgage rate comparison, or are some um, phase, phase one and two use cases. But uh, Jekyll Apex, we just don't want to stop here. We just don't want to ju just uh, fulfill the phase one and two, the regulatory requirement, but we'd like to expand our scope further. How we like to do, how we do it, how we would like to do it is that before for the banking open API, we have got the bank as the API providers. Now we can think about that bank can not only be the providers, but can also be the consumers. So in, instead, we start to acquire uh, some, what we call the non-bank API providers. Uh, so that for example, bank or other FI financial institute can be the API consumers. This will make the ecosystem, I would say more exciting, more funny, and we can 
grow the API business, grow the API usage in Hong Kong. Okay, then how, how do we support the tech companies to join our platform? Okay, there are two sides, two main uh, ways, as I mentioned, one providers, one consumers. First of all, for uh, those companies, they would like to be our TSP to join the banking open API. What we provide to them is, we provide them a sandbox environment to, te to do the testing. For, for the any testing they do, uh, do they, uh, on the sandbox, they need to, uh, no need to pay for any money and then they can access all the uh, sandbox API, which are the, some sample or dummy APIs provided by our bank, hosted by our banks. They can test with their apps, test whether th those APIs, the result is good, the API is useful to them. If they decide that, oh, this is really uh, suit my case and can be a real business case, they can just, on very easy, we just provide them a simple process. They can just uh, click go live on our sandbox portal and then our banks will be being notified and they will get in touch with the TSP. And if they can, uh, because in Hong Kong, I just want to mention a bit more. In Hong Kong, uh, we are not a government, uh, our banking open API framework is not uh, government driven, but business driven. All the use cases need to be approved by the banks. So that's why I emphasize the streamline process means that when a TSP apply go live, they need to uh, got the bank's approval before it can really be a be a real uh, use case. So all these process can be done on our portal. So and also for the TSP, they can connect not only to one bank but all the banks who have already on board, who are already on our platform, who set the API on our platform. So it's very convenient for the TSP to join the banking open open API via the Jekyll Apex. Next is for uh, then, in addition to those TSP, we also have some support for the uh, API providers. Uh, we are actually, we keep on talking to different uh, tech companies to explore some uh, potential tech companies who can be our providers. What we, uh, help give the, what we help them is we can help them to increase the explicit exposure. We, uh, once they uh, host their API on our sandbox, we will feature them on our on, on our website. And check out the, our Apex website has quite a number of um, what we call uh, developer who have already registered on our uh, sandbox portal. That means that uh, just like the TSP I mentioned before, uh, they have registered on our sam on our Apex. They can try uh, all APIs hosted there. So for any tech companies who hosted uh, their API on our sandbox. Uh, the developers or TSP can just go to our sandbox to try to uh, to test the API. And Jekyll, we are well-established uh, bank consortium. We've got a very good network with banks. And also, actually, not only banks, we also have uh, a ver large variety of business partners. So for those uh, API provider, they can have a chance to reach our, uh, uh, what I call is the bank base or the partner base very easily. Okay, the third point is uh, we provide a use case uh, cultivation opportunities because we uh, all have frequent uh, discussion or meetings with our bank partners or other potential partners. So for and if we uh, spot out any potential use cases with any API providers or TSP, we'll invite them to have maybe a direct dialogue or have some time we call the POC opportunities with them to test out their use case, whether it can really apply in the in the real market so this is a uh, very convenient for them the, the last point is very important uh, i think jacko is quite exclusive in, in this part because uh, not many uh platform they they can do the assessment and also the onboarding both uh, both the assessment and hosting but jacko will do we do so we help uh perform we help the uh, banks or any API providers to perform the assessments to both API providers and consumers on the Apex. Why we need to do so is that, uh, on, of course, the first part, uh, one, one thing is the uh, banking open API, that check code will help the bank to do the common baseline, the assessment for, for to uh, assess the TSP. But for this case, for here, is the scope is much more uh, greater, not only for the um, banking open API, but even for uh, our non-bank API providers, we also assess them 
because we need to make sure we need to provide a secure and controlled environment for for anyone for the innovation. For uh, we need to make sure all the API providers are really what well, I will, I will not say qualified, but for some are safe, secure, and then uh, business wise, uh, they are they are okay to con to be connected with other potential consumers. And for the consumers, we need to make sure that they are just like the TSP, they are uh, they are capable, they are security, and will not bring any potential risk to the providers as well. So we do the assessment for both providers and consumers. This is quite unique for Jekyll. At the end, what we uh, what we like to do is we li we like to build an open API ecosystem. We would like uh, don't want to limit by some traditional. Uh, relationship. For example, people must think that all oh, lending must be uh, related to uh, banking or banking must be related to um, investment, something like that. We would like to just group all the different kind of API providers, API consumers here, and then we just provide them uh, interaction, the opportunity for interact. At the end, we'll create different kind of use cases, some use cases that no one would think about it before. This is what our, our, our objective is. For the eco building ecosystem, there are um, uh, one of the big uh, opportunities ahead. Recently, actually, it's talking about June, Hong Kong MA has announced the FinTech 2025 strategy. And one of the key, uh, key focus, or I should say the first focus, is the all banks to go FinTech. They would like to promote, actually, they should, they're promoting for several years since the banking opened API, but they will continue to promote to encourage all the banks to go fintech, to adopt the fintech, different kind of fintech solutions. They will encourage banks to fully digitalize their operations from front end to back end. Um, as, a, as a customer, we, all, we can just use the bank service, but we don't know that some banks, they, uh, because all the services are established for a long time. So uh, what we cannot feel um, the back end. For example, we can or we know that some uh, operation it can be finished by say, uh, five days, but actually it can be done much faster with the help of the FinTech. So we are, this is also what uh, Hong Kong Amy want to drive. And then we would like to, uh, the Hong Amy would like to uh, identify some areas to which are underdeveloped and then they will provide some certain support. Then you can see lots of terms here, customer acquisition, KYC, cybersecurity, chatbot, many, many. And these all are uh, some fintech area, some business opportunities that we can help or you can help the bank to achieve their fintech strategy. So we hope you can, for some, if you have any great idea, you have any great solution, please, please feel free to talk to us and we can try to help to line up some opportunities with banks. Again, as Patrick mentioned, many people talk about banking open API phase three today, phase three and four today, and Jekyll also will talk about this. Okay, below are the framework, the scopes for phase three and four. I will not go through into details, but make it simple. For phase three is talk about the account information. Just uh, let the customers then can uh, check via the TSP for the account availability, status, balance, transaction, etc. And for phase four, actually, it's of FPS, the faster payment system, app to app payments. The timeline is talking about uh, for phase three, is talking about uh, next year, March and June, uh, for corporate customers and retail customers, respectively. And for phase four, it's end of this year. For, so that's quite rush. For Jekyll, okay, for Jekyll, we will, in, we will not in much involved in phase four, but in phase three, we will be heavily in, involved. Below is a diagram showing how. Uh, Jekyll, it works with the Jekyll Apex for the phase three cases. This is very typical cases. They can fit in any, I say, more more than say eighty percent of the uh, scenarios where the customers they can access their bank account information via TSP. Of course, need to have the customer consent being granted before. You can see the Jekyll Apex does uh, our characteristic or great our uh, great advantage is that on the right hand side we've got lots of banks there. So for any TSP, if they connect to Apex, they only need to do one connection setup. They only need to do one TSP assessment and they can have the chance to access different, I would say multiple banks, but at least more than one bank. And I 
recall I will remind that uh, all the co collaboration need to have the bank approval because our uh, use case the phase three use case in Hong Kong <coughs> need to have the bank approval so on also for banks they also have a great advantage for onboarding Jekyll because they have the chart uh, because as I mentioned for TSP is very convenient so for Jekyll it's easier to attract the TSP because if they connect to the bank one by one separately they need to talk and they have multiple dialogues, multiple negotiations, multiple uh, connection setup, very complicated. So we just streamline the whole process. We just um, make the TSP, the life, the life much easier and also same as the banks. Okay. The last page seems very happy, very exciting. But I will also tell that tell you that uh, there are quite a number of challenges ahead. As as I mentioned before, unlike uh, Hong Kong or Europe, Hong Kong's open banking use cases are not government driven, driven but business driven. If you you are really interesting, you want you would like to be a TSP. Below are some points, some challenges you need to know before that. First of all, cost versus benefits. The use cases uh, must be or at least should be beneficial to banks because a bank is the one who approve the collaboration. They are the one to approve the use, uh, whether they can, they allow you to connect to the um, phase rate APIs. So you need to have something to attract them, to persuade them that, oh, I sh I, it's worth to do the collaboration with you. So what you need to offer, for example, you need to, you can bring them incremental business your solution or your collaboration can help them to increase the customer stickiness. You can enhance their process, or it is one of the uh, regulatory requirement. Even they, so, that's why they need even need to spend money, but they, they need to do the fulfillment. So this one is important. So before you would like to talk to bank, you need to think about whether you have got such benefits to the banks. The second point is the customer data. Okay. This part, uh, phase three, unlike phase one and two, it involves uh, customer data and especially the, their bank data, which seems very, uh, I would say, highly secure to most people. They care about um, the, uh, this very much. So you have you need to gain the trust from customers to att attract them, to persuade them to share their bank data with you. So maybe you need to have some um, give them some confidence level. For example, you're a well-known app or you are a very um, big player in uh, in the market, etc. Or your solution or your uh, function, features, very critical to them to can bring the customers very, very uh, much for convenience or some advantage. So that that's why they even, they they, they uh, are willing to share their data with you for in order to enjoy your service. The second point is not only customer, you need also need to convince the banks because uh, now is the banks to give you to pass you the customer data. So you need to convince the banks that you can handle the customer data properly. The last point here is the readiness for TSP onboarding. Um, for uh, tech companies or TSP who have joined the um, banking open API, open API phase two, they have some ideas about this. But for those who have just joined the phase one or uh, not join, not participated in the banking open API uh, project before, they may not know about this. TSP onboarding, um, Hong Kong MA, actually I should say Hong Kong HCAP, they published a um, common baseline, which are a, a series of um, requirements for the TSP they need to fulfill in order to participate in the um, banking open API project. Now, uh, this common baseline, we have only have got the latest version. It's just covered to phase two. For the phase three, we expect we'll have the final version by end of this year. But what I need to say is that uh, that requirements cover a very broad aspects, at least including the one I just mentioned in the second point, the customer data security. And also they have got the, um, some financial information, etc. So. For, uh, for any TSP, they would like to join the Banking Open API project. They need to get ready. They need to have go, gone through this procedures, this assessment. Okay, but even though you have got uh, such so many challenges, don't worry. Talk first. Let <laughs> talk to us and see whether we can help. 
Actually, for for uh, Jekyll, we always keep uh, helping the banks to explore the potential TSP, explore potential use cases. So if you have any great ideas or great solution, just feel free to send me an email to talk to me and then we can have discussion on this. So we may help you to solve the challenges or help you how to get closer to the banks. Thank you, everyone. Okay, well, thank you, Carl, uh, to share about the APEX and then how uh, Jacko is uh, trying to help the, to maybe lower the barrier of the API ecosystem. Okay, so I've actually, be, uh, be, behind the scene, we also have some conversation with Carl. So maybe I, I can help to um, cascade some some questions and also some common question we heard we heard from the community. Uh, so first of all, so you mentioned about the the TSP onboarding. So this is a quite yeah. quite uh, interesting thing. So uh, a lot of um, company staff or in whatever scale, uh, they want to work with banks. So um, but they have don't have a really a solid idea how to do the onboarding. So do you have uh, one or two tips uh, uh, besides going to that common base side? Uh, what is your quick suggestion? How they should better prepare the first step, uh, second step before they can really form the the collaborations uh, to talk about the onboarding. Yeah. Mm. This is a good and hard question to me. Uh, unless yeah, yeah, yeah. touching <laughs> the common baseline. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, of course, the simplest simplest question, uh, my simplest answer is to uh, study the common baseline, but but it's quite um, I would say too long or not not appropriate to talk about this now. I'll uh, say some simple question is uh, uh, for the common baseline. What we expect for phase three is must be it should be at least. Um, same or more, uh, I, will, I will not say harsh, I'll say more secure or protective than the phase two common baseline. Mm. So I'll, uh, some of some uh, key things for the uh, common baseline are the, some different kind of security, like the cyber security threats, like the customer data protection. And also uh, this, some of them can be uh, handled or, or um, helped by the uh, some technical solution. But for some, I'll say one part is very important is the policy. Uh, uh, one of the com uh, uh, requirement for the common baseline is different kind of policies. For example, your um, company need to have the uh, data security policy, have the um, how to handle data, how to secure. So you need, you need to have this kind of policy at least. Huh. Even your small companies, maybe that uh, the same people are taking about several roles, but at least you need to have this policy to control for some at least we have got a people to look after this to have a, and uh, maybe the same people look after that but at least you need to tell the banks or uh, tell the assessor all these aspects are being covered in your company with some standard procedures i think this is hmm. important what's this one yeah, uh, yeah, this yeah. part yeah Oh, sorry, sorry for the interval. Okay, so I just want to echo. Yeah, I think, uh, yes, this is one of the things that um, maybe I also try to uh, help to highlight because there's a set, there's a lot of uh, company want to be, be dead, but they may need to assess uh, whether they are in the uh, suitable stage because uh, there may be a lot of, uh, maybe as Carl said, operation, not only technical, but uh, how your team to support the bank expected policy, uh, etc. So I think this is one point. So uh, another point that uh, maybe I also want to uh, try to uh, ask uh, uh, Carl is that, okay, so um, talking about the onboarding, so it seems that uh, Draco have something to help uh, those um, uh, onboarding uh, skin or, or, or basic validation. So how exactly it works? Because you, you're actually working a lot of member banks. So that do that uh, those uh, company need to go through the two step or um, actually you are one of the stepping song that um, once you get, get full Jekyll platform, and then uh, uh, it's just easier to talk to the other member bank. So to see how the actual um, uh, uh, where they don't work. Yeah. Well, okay. I would say you mean it's about the, uh, also about the banking open API framework, right? So for the yeah, phase yeah, three yeah. or phase two, whatever. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, um, yeah. for this one, for some if for any TSP, they would like to apply or go live. Uh, for example, uh, now it's a uh, phase two. For example, any company, they uh, would like to uh, uh, collaborate with one bank on the phase two um, banking open API framework. Then they just on our on our platform. They will first of all, they, as I mentioned in my uh, slide, they will do they can do some testing on the on the sandbox. And then they once they are happy with the result, they just click the go live button. Next step, very easy. The bank will receive the notification. Then, as I mentioned, the, uh, for any use cases, they need to be have the approval for the banks. So, if the banks, for example, they have some basic idea about oh. 
this company is interested, they will ask, they will, uh, they will inform Jekyll and Jekyll will help to conduct the assessment. The assessment actually, the uh, because the framework already being governed by the common baseline. So we just follow the common baseline and also a pre-agreed with the banks regarding the scope. Because sometimes yeah. banks may have one or two additional criteria or questions. So we just uh, based on those criteria, um, to check with the, uh, to assess or to check with the um, company. And then if they are okay, or after we get all the result, we will, we, uh, Jekyll is not the one to judge, to decide. We'll pass all the, the, the full report, the assessment report to the banks. And then the banks will uh, make a decision. If they are fine, happy, they just conf uh, click the approve and then the, it will go live. So quite okay, streamlined. Not yeah, and the best thing yeah, is yeah. that they can, for example, one company, they would like to onboard say five banks which is already which are already on our platform uh -huh. they just they can just click eight, eight, five times and then we can do uh -huh. the thing and they only, only need to do one time for assessment uh -huh. they no need to do okay. five times. so this i think this is quite uh convenient for tsp if they would like uh -huh. to onboard our member banks Okay, so in the other work, so you, you have to uh, do one time assessment and then it become a supplement to multiple banks. So it ha help to save a uh, part of times. Okay, so I think it's almost time for this section. So thanks again for car support and then uh, looking forward to see you again. So thank you. Thank see you, you soon. Thank you. Thank you.